Morning class, this is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School and this is part two in this acrylic still life painting course. So when you're working on the easel and you want to get a bit more fluidity in your acrylics but you don't want to use water because if you use the water you know it could run down you know go into parts of your shadow you can always use a medium so this is a bit of uh, glazing liquid with a gloss finish Just add a touch of it to your mixture. Now you notice how uh, this didn't really look that dark before with the burnt umber, but as soon as you start to put a white next to it, it makes it a lot darker and you start to get this form of the cherry will start to come out in front of us. The other thing to notice is because um, the actual colour of the background in the image we're working from has got this kind of greeny undertone, see how I'm working quite loosely with this and you have that raw umber and white undertone which shows through and it starts to add some, some texture, some interest to your background um, and, it, it, and it's very, very simply done, I mean I'm being you know quite rough with it, quite loose with it, um, but the translucent nature of it, because we're thinning it out, um, helps for that under colour to shine through rather than just being you know a solid block or what classically a, a beginner to acrylics would do is start with a white canvas and draw the cherry on top of the white canvas. If you work this way it will give your work a lot more of a professional finish and it's actually it's, it's a lot more enjoyable to do this way. So what I'm doing here is because the light's coming from this side, the right hand side, um, I want to make this a bit whiter so that's kind of where the light would be hitting it. So I'm using you know thicker paint to kind of emphasize that uh, uh, on this side. Oh, my brush is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be worried if this, if this happens on your brushes. You can still you can still carry on, um, <laughs> but I have been using it quite a lot. So just I just push, push them back on, and we're ready to go. Good job, I'm not a mechanic, isn't it? Okay. 
Okay, and now I'm just kind of assessing um, the whole of the picture, see how it's how it's looking, and I quite like it. I quite like this kind of textural element to it. Uh, um, I might blend that in uh, there a bit, so this isn't too too warm. But I want a bit of that warmth because when we add that real red of the cherry, you need something to balance it out um, into the painting. So um, that's pretty much it for this uh, this first stage, just with these two colours. I might add a bit of that just to soften that off. Okay, great.